Hey everybody, and welcome back to Investment Honey, where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I'm not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel, and I don't even encourage you to invest. But what I'm going to do is share with you my own personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So with that said, we're looking at Metaverser. I think that's how you say it. Uh, so as far as you know, anything I want to get into before we get into the walk around, um, they say that they've been accepted to be listed on BitMart. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and leave you a link you know, to that message. Uh, the team is partially photodoxed uh, with LinkedIn links. So the only concerns and red flags that I had was that clicking on the whitelist button leads you to a page that automatically tries to connect to your wallet. So, I mean, for me, I don't necessarily care for that. That's why I listed it as a concern red flag. Uh, if you do engage with the whitelist page, I would use a brand new wallet you know, for that purpose so you don't expose any of your other crypto assets you know, to the project. So, again, that's just typically something that I do you know, when I am engaging you know, with uh, any projects. You know, one, trying to go ahead and connect to the wallet automatically you know and um, if I ever have any kind of concerns you know or just something maybe just kind of unsettling for me um, and I'm not sure not necessarily saying that there's going to be anything you know nefarious that would go on you know but just as a you know, precautionary measure for me personally I'd go ahead and just create a brand new wallet so that's the reason why I'm listening that at least mentioning that uh, here in the video so um, with that said, we see a number of different links you know, in the you know navigation bar. We see a ton of different uh, socials you can engage with here on over to the right hand side of the page. Uh, if we go ahead and move on down the page, it says here about Metaverser. It's a virtual world that enables users to have fun while playing inside its metaverse and earn income from you know different play to earn games. The game mixes the world of finance and gaming, providing gamers with opportunities to generate an income while they play. Gamers will have more control by adding real-world value to their online entertainment. They can participate in the game challenges, earn MTVTs and NFTs, and sell them at the marketplace. And crypto exchanges assets are minted as non-fungible tokens, NFTs, and can be often traded on platforms outside the game's universe. The magic of Metaverser is that whales are not the only winners in the game. Only the gamers with the right strategy and a certain amount of luck can get the final victory. Gamers can travel in the game using ports, train stations, and airports, complete missions, and earn real money alongside fulfilling their sense of curiosity in the process. Now, whether users are serious, you know, card players, or DeFi enthusiasts, uh, they can find their own happiness in Metaverser. So you also have, you know, video here you can engage with, you know, white paper link. So you got their white paper, you know, right on over here. We see it's 17 pages. So a lot of different, you know, things to engage with, you know, as far as the white paper is concerned. So uh, just be aware of that. And as always, you know, on this channel, we don't encourage you to invest, but we do encourage you to get informed, you know, so... You know, again, if you're interested beyond the content, you know, released in the video uh, in this project, you know, make sure that you start with the documentation, go through that, and then obviously engage, you know, with the, with the social you know, communities uh, to further inform yourself as to your level of participation, you know, in this project. So uh, heading back on over to the main page, uh, we see Crypto Valley is also on pre-sale. So Metaverse, or a virtual world, has announced the pre-sale of Crypto Valley. The pinnacle of Metaverser, Metaverser is the first multiplayer open world blockchain game where users can play with a 3D character based on their features. Various play to earn models power the project and expertly mix the finance and gaming world. So uh, you can get started here, you know, with that. Uh, but again, yes, they do have a pre-sale uh, going on for Crypto Valley, which is also another aspect of this project. So partnership, uh, we see a video here you can engage with, not going to play it, as I usually don't, you know, uh, when I do videos on projects. But uh, we see here uh, Metaverse first airdrop distribution plan. So you have a flowchart here in terms of how that's going to work, you know, but uh, we see that it goes back, you know, uh, back into January. And so that, that ended, you know, uh, on the 26th. At least it looks like it ended on the 26th of 2022. So this actually, I mean, they could remove this. They really don't need it here uh, because it does give the impression that it's something you can still engage with, which uh, my understanding is that you can't. So then they give you an airdrop, you know, winner's list. So and maybe they're just leaving it there for informational purposes. I just really don't know. But we see in terms of, you know, some tokenomics here. So or distribution, we see 15% going to the staking pool, 15% going to mining pool, 15% going to in-game incentives. 10.75% going to the treasury, 10.10% going to the seed sale, 
13.75 going to the team, 10% to marketing, 0.5 to public sales, 0.025 to the airdrop, 5% to advisors and affiliates, and 5% to liquidity management. And then we see, you know, roadmap. Uh, so this is going back into 2020. So obviously it looks like there's been, you know, a lot of development that's kind of gone into, you know, this project. We're going to go ahead and move towards what's a bit more recent, you know, for us. So uh, we see here, this is kind of where we're going to be, you know, which is July to September 7, 2022, private release to NFT owners, and then Q4, uh, public release you know, to the public. Now, I do want to mention here, because sometimes, you know, teams are not actively coming back to the roadmap. Some things can be off, you know, so um, we got their IGO here, open marketplace for game asset NFTs, sales such as houses, you know, cars, guns, etc. release the game to whitelist players. So I think we're still, you know, kind of in this area right here. But it would be helpful if the team would go back on their roadmap and indicate here's everything that's been completed. Here's what's pending, ongoing. You know, here's where we are at right now in terms of development. Uh, those signals would be helpful, you know, for anybody coming to look at their roadmap or the website for the first time and just wanting to know exactly, you know, tell me where you're at, you know, but you don't really get that looking at the roadmap in its current, uh, the way it's currently constructed. So, all right, let's go ahead and let's move on over. We can't move beyond October, December 2022. I thought they had something in 2023, but could be wrong. So, uh, but yeah, okay, so it ends here. Either way, it'd be good to know if they're going to go ahead and do anything beyond October, December 2022 this Q4 2022, if they're going to do any further development, you know, because again, for anybody interested in the project, you kind of want to know, like, you know, is this where development for the project ends? Or are you going to do anything beyond that? Because it further informs whether you should be interested in holding onto the token, you know, longer than like maybe a short to midterm hold. So, I mean, that's just my thoughts you know, in regards to the roadmap. Um, so we see some in-game or some game features, you know, play to earn, invest in industries, champion race and game mining, invest in grocery stores and advertising. So we see, you know, that uh, we've got a button here where you can click on more, uh, but they do give us some screens, you know, uh, associated with each of those topics that we discussed or mentioned. So we see virtual reality, metaverse VR, uh, technology. So I like the VR technology aspect of it. And then we see some posts. But the latest posts, you know, unfortunately, uh, you know, the, the what's highlighted goes all the way back to 2021. Uh, I'd like to see, you know, highlights of something more current, you know, here since we are in 2022. It shows that they're still actively, you know, posting in regards to the project. So uh, we see some partners and technologies and uh, some media stuff here as well. So, and then we get to the team. We see, again, a photo docs team, but if you uh, hover over them, you also see, you know, links, hyperlinked, you know, to um, uh, LinkedIn pages, you know. So this one right here, Lilia, is not docs, you know, at least uh, here on the page. So, and then we see an advisor and a form where you can send a message, you know, to the team. So, all right, that takes us through Metaverser. Uh, again, make sure that you take a look at the white paper. You know, as always on this channel, we don't encourage you to invest, but we do encourage you to get informed. And that starts with the white paper. And then also, you know, um, jumping into their social communities. You know, So as I said earlier, you can inform yourself in terms of your level of participation in the project. So don't have anything else to add on this one, guys. Um, I'll leave the relevant links in the description. Um, I know I didn't really speak to an audit, um, and that's because I don't think I had found one. You know, this one, that doesn't mean that they don't have one. Um, I just hadn't noted it, you know, in regards to this particular project. So, obviously, if I can find an audit link, you know, what I'll do, I'll just leave it in the description for you. But um, either way, I will make some note of the audit. Uh, so even though I'm not talking about it on the video, um, I'll let you know that if I find the audit, I'll have an audit section, you know, in the description below, um, you know, indicates, you know, whether I found an audit, if I did, you know, list any severity issues concerning that. And uh, if I didn't, I'll just go ahead and state that no, no audit is available. So, um, so yeah, look out for that in regards to this project, but uh, that'll do it for me on this one. With that said, you guys enjoy the day.